What did you bring me, Danny? Well, oh, that's good. What's that one? That's nice. Yeah, that's great. Oh, we can that. see them. It's like Florida sunshine. Not yeah. used to it. Looking at those guys down there. Maybe turn it back off again. They're a little uh, frightening me. Uh, just kidding. JK, bucket hat. How's it going? Oh, good. Jay Edler, how are you? Cricket, how are you? Fantastic. Uh, Spyro, uh, what's your name? I don't remember. What is it? Atari? Bacardi? Atari. She said Bacardi. My parents are super into video games. My name is Atari. My brother's Nintendo. Uh, our little baby brother, Dreamcast. I was born Vectrex. Uh, yeah. In television is our, uh, the other one. What else is there? Uh, Commodore 64. Commodore 64. Vic-20. He was in the Navy. In television. Is our grandfather, Commodore 64. Watch. Jaguar? Ooh. Jaguar. Yeah. That's Atari, though. I don't know Same. any of the other ones. Lynx. Atari had a Lynx. That's right. Lexi, how are you? Good. All right. Good. Uh, any questions? All right. I have a question for you. Mike Center Nicholas. These screens are different. Yeah, that's good. Look at this. That one has my good side, and that this one has my bad side. This is the good one right here. Yeah, that's the good one. Right here. Ooh. All right. You had a question from me? You're welcome, ladies. Oh, is the panel about Dana and Michael meeting? Sure. N not meeting. Uh, yeah, us meet, getting together. Get together. Uh, I have nothing to say. I don't know what to tell you. What are you eating? Carrot stick? What is it? Hot dog? Yeah, you. The guy eating. Yeah, you right there. What is it? What flavor? Boring. The boringest flavor of Pocky. There's 5,000 flavors over there. I'm a traditionalist, man. I just want, just want my regular Pocky. The classic. Give me two boxes of the classic. I'm down to two packs a day. Chocolate Pocky. Lunch you pop. Not soda. That's what it's labeled. Yeah, there's a lot of water in this. <laughs> Mostly all water. <laughs> Practically. Uh, Death Guy from the hospital horror movie, right? Maybe? What was it called? What was it called? Silent Hill? Yeah. Was that like a hospital, right? Insane Asylum? A hill. It was on a hill. It was very... Qu well, he's quiet. He's, in, he's cosplaying, so he's silent about it, but... Body language tells more than words sometimes. You're telling us to shut up and stop talking to you. Yeah. Well, that won't happen now. Don't think we don't see you either hiding behind that program. We'll get to you in a minute. Don't laugh too hard at him. You could be next. Why don't you guys move up here? Yeah, get involved. You have to meet uh, Dana Snyder and Michael Snyder. Young uh, uh, imperial worker on the Death Star, right? Yeah, you. No, you. Stand up. Hold on. Let's take no, a poll. No, I think he's Lara stand Croft. Up. No, he's no, Lara stand Croft. Up. Definitely Lara Croft. Worker on the... You work like in the engine room on the Death Star. You're like Star, engineering. Are you a STARS member? You're maintenance. You're maintenance raccoon, on the Death Star. Like when one of the, one of the elevators doesn't work, they call you as the maintenance guy. You, and yeah. I got quadrant six. I got to fix the escalator that goes up to Vader's room. The old man's getting cranky. What is it? Resident Evil. I said oh, STARS. Yeah, okay. You're a STARS team member. Are you Chris Redfield? Leon! Damn it, Leon's here, right? The new Leon, yes. At this convention. What's that mean? The uh, guy who plays him? Yeah, in one of the games. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, though, don't hang out with the voice actors. They're pretty much no. scumbags. He has really good hair, though, for a voice actor. You were saying you had an emergency haircut. Oh, that's true, yeah. And what? <laughs> we're not talking about coloring right now. Did you have a color? I know you uh, said, but it will. was emergency color. Yeah. No, I... I, I he actually well, have no gray hair. I, uh, it's sort of a Jackie Mason Catskills crimson almost. Yeah, almost. yeah he, put, he put some it's blue in, the show in it lights. and some red. Yeah, the lights really bring out uh, all the highlights that yeah. are ridiculous. And I, I mean, uh, it looks good in normal. No, 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 no. Yeah. You, you flatter me, Dana Snyder. No, uh, You're, you look like uh, Tintin's brother. <laughs> right? Yeah. Brunette Tintin. In awkward 3D. You got the peak. You always look good, though. You're always a well-put-together guy. Dang. Driving around in your expensive cars and <laughs> yeah, flashing cash. Oh, the yeah. The Tintin building. Uh, oh, sure. 
Nothing but fancy pants. Please give out my home address. <laughs> Great. Uh, if you ever want to visit, okay, anyway. he's at this, uh, I don't know where. Yeah, he, he just gave everyone my address. Um, is this being recorded? Great. So I live in a really great building with an Aveda, and I got my haircut because it was half off. And uh, it was the most embarrassing haircut of my life, and I had to suffer through that for two whole days. It was bad. How and much did it cost? It cost, the haircut was only $25, which is yeah, half you, off yeah, of their pay for? $50. And uh, at twenty-five dollars, it was still too much to look like. Uh, look, I, uh, I just looked like uh, someone. Uh, I should never turn my head because look at this. Uh, oh God! Sweet Jesus! Check the other one. Sweet. What does that one look like? Uh, probably worse. No, that's oh, better. No, look I look that. super skinny there. I'm that's just gonna your, look at this one. That's a good model. So anyway, I remember when I was oh, bloated up to one hundred and twenty pounds. You still look skinny there. You look uh, well. I know why you look skinny because you are in fact skinny. Well, look, watch that. When you're a fat no. pig like I am, my you gotta watch how you turn on these cameras. Well, yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I do have a dimple right there. Little dimple. It's probably like a trach scar or something. I don't know about the only way. Trach scar. Tickle, 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 tickle. Come back. This is really hard. Wait. There you go. Sucking a thumb. Turn your head this way a little more. Mm, this way? Yeah, there you go. Stick, keep it there. Now what do I do? I can't see what's going on. <laughs> oh, no, turn your head more that way. Yeah. More. Yeah. More. There you go. <laughs> Wait. I ended up actually poking him in the head. I wasn't trying to do that. It's like a weird optical illusion. But he actually poked me in the head. That was very convincing. And then, there we go. Fresh. 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 Check. Check. Mike, check. JK. Cosplay or maintenance department? Construction. You're working on the mound back there? That big, those three big piles of dirt they've been building for four years? Engineers local? No, maybe you are. No, you got a badge on it. I was like, wait a minute, if that guy is actually out there, like, the John Crappers broke down. They're sending the crew over here to go to the bathroom. That's not the, what do they call them here? A honey, what do they call them here? A honey wagon? Honey uh, pot? Isn't that a Hollywood that LA? term? Porterlet. Porterlet. Porterlet? Porterlet. Because Porterlet, Porta Porta Potty. Or what are they, what's the other guy? There's like a name for one of them too, like the Johnny. John, Johnny. Johnny, uh, what is it? Jiffy John. Johnny John? Well, I know, the John. I mean, the, I'm not talking about the John, you know, I mean like uh, the, the portable ones. Uh, Johnny. When you go, Poop I know box. you too, when you're going to that big music festival you go to every year, you drive out to the desert, wear your bikinis for two days. Bingo. Well, we've incited a lot more questions. What are you two passing around? I see everything here. Oh, that's too bad. Forget You'd be a very good uh, teacher. I'd be a terrible teacher because I hated school. There's a brony, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I that's know. Oh, we know he's a brony. Qualified brony. You don't want to know what he was doing with that like <laughs> 10 minutes ago. We got soccer guy. Nay. Right? Yeah, ooh, Satanist soccer guy. He was like, wow. <laughs> now he's like, whatever, soccer guy. All right. Ooh, peace-loving soccer guy. All right. Photographer who only stands in front of other people at this, and they say, like they said, the camera wrap right in front of uh, your face over there. What's that? Yeah, exactly. Bully camera guy, uh, Guy Hutchinson, my good friend. I recently found out he was a bully. No. Talking to him on Wednesday, yeah, he says, uh, he's like, well, you know, when I was in elementary school, I got in, got in, kind of got in a lot of fights. Yeah, this is like the most peace-loving guy I know. He's like, yeah, I kind of got in a lot of fights. And we're talking a little bit more. He's like, yeah, high school was... I kind of got in a lot of fights in high school. Like, he just got in fights. Fights that he started? For 18 years. He, yeah. He's a world-class bully, this guy. The, the uh, fisticuffs. Yes. Knuckles, stand up, please. My body is half sausage, if you know what I mean. 
JK. That's dirty. Don't think about it. Probably, hopefully the inside would be half sausage rather than the outside being half sausage. Yeah. The skin is the largest organ. You know that, of course. Just like, this is like a science lesson. You know that, of course. Uh, the skin being... And how much of your body is made of water? Uh, well, I don't know. What is it? A uh, whole lot. Don't listen to the bully. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of a bully, too. Yeah. That's why you hanging out. Did you just smash any nerds today? Yeah, I did a few on the way to work. That's but, not uh, why you come to anime conventions, is it? That's why they're here, to find their next victims. They, they call them all into a corral, like, like slaughtering lambs. And everyone, yeah, they're in there like those little waiting things where they uh, sign for, get the autographs. Then they just, everyone, they let them all out. One at a time, they punch them. The one guy punches them in the stomach, and the other guy gives them a wedgie. Like, no, and they take their money for whatever they... Give me your Sailor Moon money. No. Uh oh. Hold on. Talk to everybody. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Dear. Never mind. <laughs> it was, mic. That's... was my 93 year old grandfather calling me to wish me happy birthday today, and I just hung up on him. Happy birthday. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not doing it for that. That's why I was calling, though. Send him, get a card from him with $5 in it. It's very sweet. Still does it. You could buy an autograph from somebody, maybe, with that. You could buy one of the photos I sell for $5. Ooh. God, I got to not do it. Don't, no, don't. That's oh, the one. That's terrible. Look at that. Oh, look at that guy there. Oh. Huh? Mm, Mr. Yeah. Handsome. Back in the block. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if it looks Just less like... Just my wig I'm, falls off. I do, it's a, they both look like I'm touching you, but only... Yeah. That's actually... T- it's, it's like I have a long, like, uh, alien... Like the movie Aliens. Soccer guy, you look like you're busting with a question. Rest in peace, HR. Giger. You got a good one. I know it. Come up to the mic. Oh, please, join us. Come Let's meet get up Dana close Snyder. And Whoa, look at those legs. You're a runner. Okay, th- okay this one's from, for Mike. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Never so, mind. Go sit back down. Forget <laughs> about it. Come on. Just um, anyway, um, I think... Isn't your your company NYAB Post um, set to work on like future releases of, of Gundam, it, it, or I like yes yeah yeah I mean I mean like uh, what like are you kind of like like looking forward to that after after your work on Gundam Unicorn actually okay so Gundam Unicorn w- took yeah. us three years I guess to release our seven episodes it was. Done in tandem with Japan. It was very exciting. Why did it take so long? Because it one was... One word a day. One word a day. That's all you get. Uh, it was very expensive because of that. We uh, were releasing it simultaneously, so we were waiting for them to draw, and then we'd get like a partially completed video, we'd dub against that, then get a more completed but not completed video with lots of post-it notes flying across the screen as spaceships and all mobile right. suits. I see what you're... Yeah, right. And then... Uh, we get the final one sometimes after the mix, and then I'd have to go make changes. It was exciting and unprecedented. And then when it was done, I was very sad that it was gone. But then they asked us to do the next OVA series in the same manner, simultaneous release, Gundam Origin, which for all my Gundam friends is more exciting than any other version of Gundam. So I'm super, super... Spoiler excited. alert. They're yeah. all werewolves. No! Just saying. You were under friend EA. Aww. Yeah, they fired me, so now I can talk about it now. Werewolves? More like new types, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. Trust me, they're but werewolves. They're, yeah, I've watched get, them all. They get hairy in this one. There's a Fruit Brute tie-in with the cereal maker. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for, the, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah so. thanks for watching Gundam Unicorn. It's a, it's, a, it's a tricky experiment for Sunrise to self-release that all over the place and hope that people buy it. It's more expensive than their other stuff to make because of the way... They did it at like, it's like individual feature films. They're so good. So thank you yeah. for your support. I will tell Japan. Beast! How you doing back there? How you doing, birthday boy? You got a, uh, you got a match tonight? 730. 730. <laughs> Whose uh, buttocks will you be whipping? Happy birthday. Point well to you. taken. I forgot I had that 7.30 match with Beast tonight. Uh, oh, and it's because of your birthday. You I have really, to get your Spanx in. I really should have w- worked out a little bit more. How old? How many? Uh, I'm going to be 27 years old today. All right. Why did you laugh so hard at that? Uh, One. 
Would you get across two point my seven. knee? Two point seven. <laughs> Come on, just lay across. <laughs> uh, seven thirty to what? Beast. Promo time. Seven thirty to what? To whenever the last drop of blood is spilled. Taking. Price includes the whole seat, but you only need the edge. I always like that. Taking all comers. Lexi, do you have a question? Yes. Oh. Let's talk about it. How does it feel to um? How does it how does it feel to you being Master Shake? I mean, how's that career going? Like it doesn't feel going. like much to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> me neither. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, we should t we talk about our job like that, right? Oh. What, ha what happened? Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's fantastic. So we have great jobs, right? You, it's the you have many jobs. Greatest job ever. Do you, get, do you have to record that in Atlanta? Nope. Hmm. Wherever you, I am. Anywhere you go, you can record it? Almost. <laughs> I did do one line inside a Target changing room once. Ooh. For Squidbillies. That was true. It was like one sound, one, they needed one word. They said, oh, we, got, we have to get it. I said, I can't, I can't, I was away working somewhere. I didn't have a car. They dropped me off at Target to do like, whatever, grocery shopping or something. I was like, maybe, I, so I got a bunch of clothes. I hung them all around the wall in the changing booth. Oh. And then I went in and on my iPhone just sort of went like, because uh, it was just like a sound. It was like, I just did, you know, oh, oh, oh. That was it. And they didn't have that. They didn't have that. And I emailed it from my iPhone. So you watch the, the thing, and it's like perfect, like, hey, uh, so it sounds like this. And then <laughs> just one little line. Bing, bing. Yeah. That's cool. I've auditioned on my phone, but I've never, rec well, I recorded something with a mic plugged into my phone for a radio imaging thing this week. What's a radio imaging? Oh, like, listen to KFCW, yeah. the Kentucky Fried Chicken Channel, which That's has a wonderful one. radio station. Oh, You're okay. at WKFC. Double down. The Colonel, all boarded, coming at you. Eleven. The five is back to us. Just making sure my house isn't on fire. Okay. Hey, great. speaking of KFC. Hey. No, we said that's uh, PFC, Pony Fried Chicken. Ooh. Or no, Kentucky Fried Pony, KFP. KFP. Yeah. Kentucky Fried Pony. Uh, Silverado, yes. What was your question? Are you, who are you supposed to be again? Is this your own invention? The lady from Game of Thrones with the dragons. White hair. Yes, you're the mother of dragons. Oh! Can I see your bailet? Would you flash it? Oh. Is that what that thing is? That's yeah. how you get them to flash you. Okay. Is it, is it super creepy mode or? No, it's just, it's just oh, that's lovely. She Ooh, made it herself. Nice it. Can you we inspected it for... People. Look at that. Go straight up to the camera. No, go walk up to the camera. Griffy Zoo. We should have the water. Luckily, flight. they had the world's slowest zoom on those. Uh, <laughs> Creepy. I know it's not yours. Just a fistful. Well, it's not your camera. It's meat and face. Some dingus no. bought that one, and now they got a high five. Here, now seriously, go walk up to the camera over there. Yeah, put it right in that lens. Yeah, no, really, walk. No, that, no, 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 walk all the way one. up to it. Yeah, walk up to that lens. Yeah, so one. people can, yeah, keep going, keep walking, so they can see the thing. Hold the thing up, not your boobs. <laughs> Hold on. Now, he'll focus. Don't look at there. Just stay, stay still. still. You're moving you can't target. Focus Why are you moving keep target? Moving. Stay you still. Look at that. Oh, that's Look creepy. at the little weird face, eyeball, yeah. the lips. Uh, my friend at Media Blasters made a mold and uh, fashioned baylet chocolates. To keep that on to there, the Japanese so I don't licensor. have my fat neck showing anymore. That's better. That's so much better. Just a fist full of face. Fantastic. Balls. All right, you can go. That's now, lovely. Would you have a question, though, Griffith Sue? Uh, sorry, we were, no. we were celebrating you, and then... I was very happy that forgot you had a picture. cosplay from Berserk. Hey, thank Kiki. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is for both of you. Is that Waldo? Uh, Waldo, yes. right? Waldo, <laughs> what? yeah. What is it? Oh, Tabo, all right. I don't know who that is. The Japanese version of Waldo. Waldo. Yeah. Do you say, Shunigigatsu Tabo. Anata no Waldo. Yeah. We got it. We're pretty hip about this. Waldo, do I'm pretty sure it's Japanese Waldo. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
What's your question, Mother of All Dragons? Uh, okay. With so the deformed dragon baby that was just a face all messed up that you wear around your neck. Your dragon egg. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys have been doing this for a while, like coming to conventions and stuff. What, what, the famousness and stuff. Uh, what was your weirdest, Ringo. your weirdest, um, experience with somebody like, like, did somebody just shit spaghetti all over the ground when they were trying to, trying to ask you something? You you did that just, last time, I remember. Yeah, I did. And then the meatballs started coming yeah, out. It wasn't spaghetti; it was like popper oh It was like up thin up white up egg noodles <laughs> that you were shooting out all over the floor. It was very well, bizarre. Well, I guess I answered my own question because it's now. Monk Shitting out spaghetti. Linguinis. Where did that phrase come from? That's, is that something they say in Florida? It's, it's like a thing on the internet. I don't know. I like it. I mean, it's a very clear image. I think everyone can picture that. Yeah. No matter. It's you guys are still eating right like shit and spaghetti. Yeah, whatever. Sandwiches are still good. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's spaghetti sandwiches. Up. Yeah. It's the worst. Future spaghetti right there. Uh. <laughs> wow. Shitting out spaghetti. Kiki. Right? Kiki. Yeah, there you go. And Waldo. They went across the Pacific Ocean and found love together. Uh, what's yours? I know you got one. Uh, it's really embarrassing. And that time you got married. Please I, marry me right now. My father's here. He's a preacher. I did have... Oh. At, one of, at one convention oh, where there were me. some... Some people who might have been a little extra creepy. Uh, one of the Ninja Turtles in my cast gave me a wedding ring that he used to wear to conventions before he was married. And now, now that he's married, he has a real one. So he's like, hey, buddy, you might need this. So I, I wore a wedding ring. And a few people noticed it and like, acted really weird but wouldn't ask me directly about it. So, uh, what, do I have, so what, uh, what have you been up to? So uh, what happens when you meet a lady you like, you're like... Just for the record, this is fake. <laughs> I never meet women I like. 806, you know what I mean? A room key. You check in, you're like, how many room keys do you see? I'm going to need about 35. I'm shotgunning. I'm handing them out everywhere. Could I get 112 room keys, please? I'm just passing them out. Write the number on there. Yeah, make all the post-it notes and stick them. Why don't you uh, take a look at this and maybe I'll be back in my room around 8.30. Clothing optional. Hmm. So you wore the ring. I wore the ring. Some lady, uh, you ever signed boobs? You know, I had to sign boobs with Chris at a venture thing at Comic Con, and I didn't know how. I you, felt you're talking very... about Jackson? Jackson Public. Uh, wait a minute. You yelled at me last time. Or not you did. James did. Don't ever call him that. He hates. Well, he hates. I think I, his real apparently we're not ever supposed to refer to Jackson Public other than his real name, which is, of course, obviously Jackson, Jackson Public. Public. Yeah, we have little pet names for him, but the real Kiki, name is... the Cheetah, Old Spaghetti Shorts. These are all nicknames we have for uh, Jackson Public. Where'd Sandwich Guy go? The, making spaghetti. <laughs> Time to go to the Old Spaghetti Pot. <laughs> Who? The Raviol tonight. Yeah. Please, come up, please, also. We're talking about wearing fake wedding rings. I don't have to talk about not knowing how to handle boobs. Yeah. Because that's exactly what happened. I didn't know how to sign it. It was so so embarrassing. Well, it's like when you sign a t-shirt. You've got to pull it and stretch it out, or it'll, like, get all... You need to taut, make the skin taut, otherwise the pen will stick. You, this guy knows what I'm talking about. You look like you've signed a few pair of boobs in your life, sir. Yeah. You've made your mark on uh, quite a few... Uh, Boobs? You draw a picture out of them. Make them eyeballs out of the nipples and all that stuff. It's real fun. Draw right. a smiley face under the belly button. It's like a big face. Speaking of which, um, has either of you gotten into art? And, like, what kind of stuff have you drawn, like, uh, creatively wise, like, sketchbook or whatever? This guy's really good. And now that he has a on on his phone, Hold on a minute. share it with everybody. Can I take this? Where he left? He left. Who cares? All right, off this death trap. Hold on. Good luck. I'm gonna with that. die on my on your birthday. Right. So well, ironic. Been, way to go. Let me give you a tour of my recent paintings I've made. Keep talking. It's gonna take me a minute. He's uh, gonna be. You you should go over there and see them right over his shoulder there. Uh, it was your question. I um, have said before. I heard. I think it was Tim Burton that said. This? 
you know, everyone draws until they hit an age when they say they can't draw anymore, and then... Dana. I'll pull it back so you can zoom into it. Uh, this hey, is that from Disney? That's right. This is on display at the... No, this is on, this is on display at the wall at Disney Animation for their zombie artwork show right now. But this, was, this is a ride at Disneyland of the... Uh, Pinocchio, the, yeah? The uh, Storybook Land Canal Boats. But this is the Storybook Land Canal Boats of Death. See, there's a, there's a little... Uh, there's a brain... It's photorealistic. <laughs> There's my character from Disney Fish Hooks, dead, floating in the water. <laughs> right there. Should I pull back? Wait. Why don't you pinch to zoom instead of oh. putting it closer? Why don't I, that got, speak, that's like the spaghetti maker in there. And then I put a master shake straw way in the back. Right there. Why is Mario there from, and Princess Peach? Uh, hey, is that your friend? That's Who's a boob butt lady. She, I drew boobs, but then it looks like a butt. That, but and Dana, she's a very severe looking woman. Dana, she wait. Has, uh, hold on, I'll get no, some no, better no, ones no. here. No, your friend, that, the guy in the back with the hat. It looks like your friend who's over there. Guy? Oh, yeah. Is that guy? Tribute homage to Guy Hutchinson, the bully. The bully. That was before I knew it was a bully. That guy. Yeah, I'll stop moving so you can focus on Yeah, right there. There's that guy. This painting's available for $10,000, original artwork, for the print. It's a serograph, Cirocell. Let's see, here's some other ones. Hold on, I'll get them. I got them all right here. I'm gonna go oh, yeah, here we go. Part. Some fine paintings. Uh, let's see. Uh, <gasps> lock this. Here, here you go. Uh, Wawa werewolf. As a werewolf who eats a hoagie. He turns into a werewolf whenever he walks into the... Uh, Whenever he walks into the Wawa, he turns into a werewolf. Next, Triumph. Here's some character uh, paintings I made. All the good people. There's the uh, most deformed version of the alchemist who will ever be seen. <laughs> Copyright. Is that on Here, uh, some hand banana. Here's a cigarette pipe knife fight they're having. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I thought that was Kool-Aid Man. No, no. That's a, that's a pipe with where he wears, uh, he wears spats. He wears fancy dress shoes, but he's in a terrible knife fight with a cigarette over who's best. Hand banana, no explanation necessary. Here's a vampire master shake with meatwad uh, bat. Uh, here's uh, Frankenstein making out with a unicorn. That's a classic. Plain. Plain, boring. Here's a... New and here's new and improved Frankenstein making out with the unicorn because they're also holding hands down below. That's the addition. Hands. And Cupid has came by and spotted through the uh, heart. Wait, the lightning bolts were going up? Yeah, it's because he's like, oh, cause wow, just... this is just love is shooting out of me with yeah. our big pink tongue we share in between us. <laughs> and that hand is like, I think he lost all his fingers in an accident or something. <laughs> Igor brought everything but five fingers. He brought enough for the other hand. I thought maybe he was doing a hoof hand to make the unicorn feel better. That could be. Or he's like holding it like this. Yeah. Oh, look, out. we can just clop yeah. the hoofs. I love you, Chloe. I love you, Frankenstein. We're the last of both our breeds. Mm. Is Anything Frankenstein else? a breed, though? Sure. Okay. I mean, probably not, but yeah, there's a... Hey, boy, you like to party? Nothing, zip, zilch. So somebody bought my Frankenstein poster, and they hung it up in their house next to where they also have Batman and Robin making out with each other. <laughs> they sent me a picture of it hanging on their wall, which I thought was awesome. Truly in a place of honor. I can only write it right above their uh, spaghetti-making bowl. I think it's like the stairway or something. Well, yeah. hospital guy's leaving. Creepy wooden sword. Cricket player. Creepy, cr creepy cricket player with his cricket bat. And his wickets and his dress, but also his butcher apron. All right. Thumbs you up. know we love you. You're, you're, out, you're out dressed, everyone here. It's my own uh, lack of knowledge of what anyone's dressed as. Very tall. Yeah, he's a tall guy. Says he's Pyramid head. Says yeah. very few words, but they'll send him to you free, fearless flyer. Oh, Kiki's.
He's shucking off Kiki's love now. Stop. I keep telling you. It's inappropriate. We're brother and sister. We shouldn't have these feelings. Just fight them. They'll go away. They'll never go away for me. Oh, my God. That's actually the plot of another Ghibli film, Up on Poppy Hill. Released What's that called? Up on Poppy Hill. Up on Poppy Hill? Yeah. And I... Poppy's the sister, is that right? Up on Poppy's Hills? It's the adult yeah. version. Uh, <laughs> on Poppy's Hills. <laughs> is it real? It's real. Uh, boy meets girl. They like each other. And then it turns out they may be related. Brother and sister, though? Half. But yeah, eh, enough. Pass. That doesn't count. Is Someone getting taser? tased out there? Bro. No one cares. I guess if they were here, uh, they always freeze up and just uh, and then, fall right over. Then spaghetti happens. Spaghetti? You're making spaghetti, man. Who said that? You said it. God, I never heard of that in my life. I'm going to think. So we have a similar phrase like this from a story that my friend, she was an agent at ICM, and she started as, a, as a, uh, an intern there. And the first time, the, like the second day she got there, there was a FedEx box, you know, one of those square ones, not the envelope, a square one. She rips it open, because they also send fan mail to people, you know what I mean? Like, they'll send it there for, like, celebrities that are represented there. And she rips the thing over and she shoves her hand in just before she says, the lady goes, don't do that. She goes, what? She goes, we always look in the packages. She goes, what's the deal? She goes, uh, uh. Four months ago, or no, it was like four weeks ago, someone sent, uh, someone sent, what the hell's her name? Uh, someone sent Laura, Judd. No, someone Lauren sent McCall. Laura Dern feces in the mail via FedEx. Ooh. And the person shoved their hand and it came out with shit all over. So ever since now. Well, actual feces? Or actual spaghetti? feces, and I got it all, I figured it all out. I figured the whole thing out. She's got that scene in Jurassic Park where say. there's a big thing of stegosaurus crap. Yeah. And she goes running her hands in up, up to the elbows. Ugh. And this guy cheeks. who's in the poop, he's like, now that's a lady I could get into. <laughs> so he kept sending her bags of his human feces, FedExed, not, not snail mail. You want to keep that fresh? FedExed. But so now, uh, we, like you talk about making spaghetti. You missed it, Ian. This, uh, she, she said, like, has, there, has anyone like, come up and like shit spaghetti? which is like a horrible visual thing for me. I never heard it before. But Laura Dern, so my friends and I were like, you know, I got to go uh, wrap a little gift up for Laura Dern, if you know what I'm saying. So we have only like, it, like maybe if you would just pass gas, just send in Laura Dern an email. You know, her, it's all just, a kiss. Yeah, all of the bodily functions now are all, we, we find a way to wrap them into Laura, or like if you came back from the bathroom. I realize this is disgusting, but it has to be said sometimes. You can't just ignore the most uh, things. The thing, the one thing in this room we all have in common. Everybody poops. Am I right? You with me, Lexi? Yes. <laughs> you come back from the bathroom, you can question, like, was it a big gift for Laura Dern? Eh, more like a stocking stuffer. <laughs> not, not too much. Uh, just a little thing I picked up. Feel free to use that in your own home lives. Because I'm giving it up now to talk about, to do spaghetti for the rest of the thing, to talk about my bowel movements. The Popperdell special. Yeah, there's like a baby being pushed by him talking about poop and spaghetti. Sorry. Is she asleep? Is it a boy or a girl? Okay. Well, he's, he's got, probably got poop in his pants anyway. He's like, yeah, man. Speak. This is my day every day I walk around with poop in my pants. So is the dad. That's the, that's the ironic uh, part of that. What are you dressed as? What's that from? Yes. Awesome. He got his powers from the dragon. Con How do you know all this? I... You're a comic book person. I actually... I have no idea. Just did a... I know voice. Italian Waldo or Japanese Waldo. Uh, the guy who works at the maintenance, the elevator repairman on the Death Star right yeah. there. Uh, Spyro Gyro, uh, Kentucky Fried Pony. The world's biggest bully sitting next to the world's second biggest bully. Green jeans. Mr. Green like, jeans. I am the green bean. Everyone will steal. No one will ever eat another vegetable as long as the green bean is here. You were the son of the jolly green giant, but the, not the little sprout kid. He was the favorite child. 
He never talked to me. He never put me in one of the commercials. I'll show him. You mean, uh, then you married Mrs. Birdseye, try and usurp the Jolly Green Giant? Too soon? Oh, you got a question? Go That's what on the work. I have to go the question here. should be made. Can I please leave the panel now? May I Mr. please Senator leave the panel? Actually, can I have a picture with both of you before I leave? Yeah, just work? come up here. But I don't know if this will hold the weight of three of us. Uh, Look at likely this. Won't. this thing is. Uh, yeah, just try and come up here. Uh, why don't you? Yeah, lay across no, do the it. stage, and we will stand Listen, I want to. You. I, no, no, no. Come no, up here. I, I want to sue the Hilton Corporation for breaking you. my neck on this thing. Yeah, come on, do it, do it. Very good. Oh, ooh, that's good. Yeah. Why am I holding a mic up? This is for a fucking yeah, still. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Next time we'll all lay that way, in the same exact way, just like belly to back. All right. Yeah, you like, coming back like tonight? A, like a human centipede? Sell so beer. Hey, our panel doesn't start till 11. You'll be soused up. All right, 11 o'clock, Mac Ballroom 1. Be there or be, don't be there, but then we'll talk about you more. What's the beer? All beer. You at that place, you work at that place, right? That uh, finally he's risen. Oh no, it's Robot Jesus. Hello, I'm fabulous Robot Jesus. The, the, the Jesus for the new millennia. All right, Bye goodbye. Bye, man. We'll see you at Cigar City. Well, we won't, but... If you come tonight, bring some cigars. We'll have a treat for you. If you we'll trade cigars for something else. Yeah, of course you can bring beer. No, just bring not soda. Remember what I'm saying? Wink. Yeah. Bringo. Uh, future, there was this cut. You were dressed from the cut scene in The Fifth Element when Jesus came out. He was future Jesus. With the laser cross. Mad Hatter, right? Mad Tea Party. Uh, we got a B-boy in all pink. Pink right? Ranger. Pink what Ranger? are you dressed as? Slurpee salesman? Slurpee rep. Pe Pepto. Rep for the, for the uh, Frosty Corporation. Babe. Babe the talking pig. That one guy in uh, Wet Hot American Summer who runs out of the bag like, Man, the pool's closed! Pocky. What you're, are we going to do? You're Pocky. You're Strawberry Pocky. Nothing. You're just a dude... Who owns Ooh, a shirt uh, and pink. a ball cap that are the what exact are same? Can I see your pants? Miami pink. Stand on your chair and we, oh, not pink. Oh, no, how about no. your mantis underneath pink? Kind of a letdown. I was hoping you were dressed in all pink for no reason. Like you wearing a costume? No costume, man. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No Just like you can't guy, guy can't wear all pink, pink pants and shoes and socks. I got pink on. Where's my? Well, we all have pink on whenever we change our clothes. Pink. Pink lanyard. Put it under here to keep it cool. Kiki's out of here. Ah. Maybe mom of Kiki, Kiki's friend. You got to go clean something. I, I got to go sweep this. Uh, that thing Deliveries. is a mess. The, the cat made spaghetti. And... Oh, photo op. Okay, photo op. Oh. Great. It's good that there's more photographers in here taking Don't... pictures of this panel than people who are actually here at the panel. <laughs> well, they're all ready for wrestling. All right. What time is it anyway? Oh, God, we're supposed to, we should have been done. Well, we were done with, oh a minute after we started. Uh, tonight, 11 o'clock, get out your calendars. Because just write down, after this evening, the rest, everything I go to for the rest of my life will be a disappointment. Because this will be the greatest night of my life. The Mac Ballroom 1, which is somewhere in this building, I don't know where, Upstairs, right above us. Directly above us. So if you get on that genie lift and crawl through the ceiling, or go up to find it wherever it is, we're going to have our Drunk on Disney panel. It will be very good. Uh, we have lots of... Uh, it's basically more of this bullshit. <laughs> but maybe we'll get Electro Jesus to sing a, do a dance number or something. We'll put on some, uh, some kind of weird techno music for him. It's like Starlight Express Jesus. Yeah, you got roller skates, future Jesus, green bean. 
You got? Do you have any roller skates? I wish. We'll get you some. Come to the thing tonight. Bring the bring the. Uh, or is that or is that just like the world's largest sword? That could be both. Like, uh, oh yeah, okay. Uh, I figured that, but it could. Some of these swords are. There was a guy with a cricket bat that was the weird Silent Hill guy earlier. Like, yeah. was, no, that thing shoots uh, like communion in your. That's mouth. right, wafers. Uh, <laughs> How dare you defy future Jesus? <laughs> you foolish earthlings have defied me for the last time. Take of my body and blood. Yes. <laughs> Bathe in the blood. <laughs> ah, the communion wafers! You can't be reborn. Unleash my priests! Ah, they're all like vampire zombie priests, but aliens crawling up the walls. And disciples. Yeah, I think we just wrote a whole movie right now. We should be doing this instead of that Studio Ghibli, the sister screws with the brother. <laughs> be bad, watch that. Yes, uh, Japanese Waldo. So uh, tomorrow's the um, VIP should be my sin. $25 uh, thing you got going on? You're all close. It's tomorrow night. And there's money involved? You have to pay for it, the one tomorrow night. I was wondering if you'd be willing. Do you like Kiki over there? Are you, uh, are you into that? What, are you trying to sell her or something? you like a pimp, like Waldo pimp? Like, we're, we're that's your sister, man. No, we have it worked out. Like, maybe we can We've meet up somewhere. We've got it worked out. Listen, and you, three you and minutes her. for both of you or five minutes for one of you. Your choice. We don't care. Keep so talking. W w um, I'm just talking about like a free uh, tickets. A handy, a handy you're talking about. How, old, how old are you both? I'm just curious. We're, we're old enough. Uh, What's that mean? For what? I don't know. We're into some crazy shit. Old enough to not be able to afford $25. Is that a no? Or... Okay. You come to the panel tonight. We may be giving some tickets away. A $45 value. But we're going to give you two knuckleheads one of them and watch you fight over who gets it. No switchies. No, not yet. No, not yet. We're gonna you don't save even have the one later. ticket to fight over yet. They just yeah. want to fight. Whoa, I know that one. Assassin's Creed. Hey. Right? Come on right. Yeah. It's the one I knew. It's the only one I knew. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, thank you. What's the guy say? Woo! Ric Flair. I don't know why I got that. I think that's so crazy that you do it's that. It's subtle. It's like, a, you know what I'm talking about? Like, the Assassin's Creed guy's very no, quiet no, no. and stealthy. No, Assassin's Creed, but we're talking about Ric Flair, who's coming in the summer. Oh. But he had like this thing that he just goes, Woo! Like, it's so weird. Like, I mean, it's awesome, but I don't know why it's so crazy to me. Because, like, you just walk up. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> like, because it's not like, wow! Like, ah, I'm so excited. It's like, woo! <laughs> All right, uh, you left my keys somewhere if someone could find them. <laughs> woo! It's like that, it's like that guy... I saw one time on, like, I don't know, it was like 60 Minutes or something, this, this jackass who sat on his porch. He lived by, like, a highway, like a rural kind of highway. Was it in Atlanta? No. I don't know where it was. I mean, I was in my living room when I watched it, but I don't know where the guy was. But he would sit on his porch, and he, like, could perfectly, perfectly imitate the uh, a police siren. So, Michael like, a, as a car was coming out, there were Were you going watching Police fast, Academy movies? No, I said perfectly imitate a police siren. Oh. <laughs> Not, no remind you of what a police siren selling. Like. He's very nice. He lives right by here. Michael was. But he would like just sit on his porch like if he thought a car was going too fast. He'd go like, boo, whoop. Like it sounded like when they like just do the, and then the cars would always slow down. But I feel like that's like the lame version is the Ric Flair style. <laughs> He's just like, woo. <laughs> hey, uh, Rick, there's lots of hot girls coming tonight. Woo. It just gets older. Uh, just let me know if you've uh, soiled yourself, and I'll change your diaper, Mr. Flair. <laughs> Woo! All right, very good. Uh, would you like some more rose beef? Woo! <laughs> this is the only form of communication. Like the guy with the bell in Breaking Bad. Yeah, on the thing. <laughs> Woo! That'd be bad. Why that? Uh, he's got to have a bell. We didn't have money for a bill. All right, you know what? Just do the Ric Flair thing. There's a guy smelling his finger who wants to ask a question. Oh, yeah. Cricket, stand up, please. Show everyone your wonderful Drunk on Disney membership patch. Oh. A patch that demands respect, even though you've put it almost the lowest on there instead of the highest part. What do you got up there instead? Like a something 
written in Kashyyyk from Chewbacca's planet. And Listen, nothing will get you more respect than that. That's a hand-embroidered patch. Those are easily 50 or $70. But because we make them overseas, with children make them, they're very cheap then. They're like $12. So. What's your question? A Ric Flair gun? <laughs> Ooh. Would it actually, and I'd also shoot a flare. Oh, that's good. See, I want this one. They're like, Choo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> I don't want the woo on the way up. I want, like, you don't know until it pops up. Because sometimes you're like, shooting, you don't know if it's going to go this way. And then he's like, Phew. Oh, no. Phew. <laughs> so it was far away. It went really high up. You couldn't hear it that good. I was, I was thinking that you had many pieces of Ric Flair on your jacket. Yeah. Now, he's at uh, TGI Fridays. Uh, he's the manager. At the... I'm just kidding. You got the best patch on there. Trust me. And are having a case of the Mondays. You're coming tonight, right? Okay, good. It's going to be a lot of lucrative. Uh... You're coming tonight. I am. Maybe. You're definitely tonight. coming tomorrow f f f night. night. We have a private party tomorrow night. I'm sorry it costs money. But listen. <laughs> No, what this if you do, if you forked over 45 bucks, you won't believe what you're getting out of this damn thing. I've been, we got a, 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 a truckload of shit. Hotel keys, 806, everybody. People 806. will very easily uh, kill are for. Are you an 806? I hope you're not an 806. We'll never know. Kiki, Kiki knows what room I'm in. 806. Kinky is delivered. Keep service. those soft hands of yours. Don't touch anything. Keep them clean. Let us dirty them for you. <laughs> This is disgusting. I get arrested. This is like an asshole. Super asshole. And nice Michael Center Nicholas. What are the laws in Florida for such a thing? I think there aren't any. As long as you don't eat anyone's face, they're, they're all right. Yeah, you can shoot whoever you... Apparently you can do anything you want here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You just have to shoot them. Yeah, it's... it's uh, I don't know what the hell's... Uh, What's the deal? I you probably shouldn't talk about it. It's very, uh, what? You, Stand your ground. Stand your what ground. But you can only shoot them if you finish the job, right? Terrible. If they don't die, then it's not okay. Ah, yes. Arr. I don't get yeah, it. Uh, we've, we've, we've turned a dark page, a disgustingly wow. dark page. All right. And on that note, come tonight. What's your next thing? Uh, my next thing is uh, tonight. All right. That's it. I've, what are uh, we doing tomorrow? I don't know. I don't have Guy, a what's the uh, I, just, I just flew in. Hold on. I got I don't it. Even yeah, know I know. Thanks I for showing up. I realized. South it. We're in South Carolina? Everybody was here three days ago. You show up uh, two minutes Georgia. before the panel. What, what is it? All right. Tomorrow, tomorrow at noon at, the, at our table over there. Ah, Family Feud at 1.30. Now I see everyone's rising with interest. Ah. Oh, more of this. More of this. <laughs> Luckily, they taped it. We rehearsed this. This again. is exactly what we do. We say the same things at every I, I single one like of these. I dropped like one line, but every, otherwise it was pretty much verbatim. Did I hog it? No. Oh, you were saying you, you have one improvised line, yeah. and all the rest is all scripted. Was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to keep it interesting for me, and I do want to keep it interesting I just wanna, for you. I just want to you know, mix it up a little, Yeah. keep you on your toes. But you're just like, it's so great to be here in... Miami, uh, in Michigan, Lexington, or, in Rhode Island. You know Island. the problem with girls from Lexington. Then some bad local joke, and then the next week, you know the problem with girls from uh, Austin. <laughs> Just the same local joke everywhere. Well, what's the problem with them? Alan? How are you doing over there? Come here, real quick. You, is there anyone you don't know? This Come is here, incredible. Real quick. Hurry up, quick sticks. Come on, you no, got long legs. It should not, take you like half a second. Same pace. Just uh, don't do the whole thing. Just a little bit. This is a teaser for tonight. Give them a, just give, give, just go for a little bit. I'll stop you. Okay, ready? You ready? One, two, three. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Express monorail, our highway in the sky to the Magic Kingdom. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey. Uh, on the right-hand side in the shores of Bay Lake is Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Uh, we are entering the, the Contemporary Resort, where on the Grand Canyon Concourse, you can start your day with Chef Mickey's character breakfast. Safety spiel. Uh, Gather your things. <laughs> Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, mantengan sus puertas. Presentation. 
the uh, Spanish speaking. He knows the whole monorail spiel from uh, Disney World. Are you the guy? I thought it was a yeah, recording. Yeah, that's the guy. Why don't they just have a recording? Uh, they found it was actually cheaper to have him live on the monorail. The problem is they don't have between things. At every stop, he gets off, then he has to do it super fast in the next car. You can't walk through cars like on the subway, uh, you know. They have the secret tunnels, though, so. That's right? true, but not on the monorail. Uh, no? Come on. Well, they have the guys on every car. That guy. He's one of eight guys on a monorail like car. A There's the guy, the cricket one? bat again, right there. Cricket. He's got the cricket bat. He's got the death, one of the Imperial cruisers on his head from Star Wars. This is the new, he's the chef de cuisine on the Death Star. He makes all the food. It's per, Darth Vader's personal chef. Uh, they inspired the design of the uh, ship after his hat that he wears, which is like a, it's suit. like a round Chinese hat, but then it's like pyramidal. Looks like a pterodactyl beak. Right? There you go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's like the bird that with the water in it that keeps Bobby. dipping comes up and then he like, you know what I'm talking about? I got you, sir. You look like you've got a lot of birds that dip in the water. You know what I'm talking about? That and signed boobs. Sorry, this guy, the gentleman in front of you signed a lot of boobs. We talked about it earlier. Sorry, uh, got a young person behind you. Uh, it's all natural. What? That's a thing. Well, some some guys have boobs. Boobs. I have B cups. I'm working on it. I had a salad for lunch. I don't need any more of your peer pressure. 